Mic check. Mic check. I swear to God. I swear to God. Be on. Stay on. Hey Foreverlies, it is just Maddie in this video and I am doing a video that is kind of, kind of long awaited because everybody wants to know, not everybody, but a lot of people want to know how my breastfeeding journey is going when I have an almost three year old because not a lot of people breastfeed into, got a little bit of sweat right there, <laughs> um, not a lot of people breastfeed into toddlerhood and when they do they usually stop around one or two and my daughter Everly is almost three and I am still breastfeeding so I I want to share more about that and make this more known and kind of talk about what it's like like the struggles the positive parts just everything also we are in a different area today again than my normal sit down couch because this guy right here it literally has duct tape on the bottom to keep it together <laughs> And um, I may or may not have lost the cord that plugs it into the wall. And it's been like a month and I still haven't gotten a new one. And I really need to, but I just... M spending money terrifies me recently. So I'm trying to find the cheapest one I can. It's, it's, <laughs> I'm so bad. Um, hopefully this audio works on this video because I have filmed so many sit-downs recently. And the audio just doesn't work. So if there is not audio on this video, I... I'm gonna go into a long depression and sleep for two weeks. Okay, so I asked on my Instagram like what y'all wanna know about, oh my god, my face ID stopped working because I dropped my phone in the bath and it already has cracks in the camera and I haven't taken it to the Apple store to get it fixed because they said it would be 200 bucks so I'm just gonna wait until I can get a new phone. So I've been having to, um, what was I gonna say? I've been having to enter my password every time and my password like doesn't work sometimes. It like deletes the numbers when I'm typing it. I don't know why it does that, but they do sometimes. So let's see what people want to know. It, it's not loading. Do I still get engorged a lot? Okay. If you don't know what engorged is, it's where you have too much milk. <laughs> oh my god. It feels so weird to talk about, but you have too much milk and it hurts. Um, I rarely ever get engorged anymore because my milk supply is a lot lower and it's not like the super concentrated milk that they get when they're younger and she's not breastfeeding throughout the day always like sometimes she'll nurse for like 10 minutes in the day but not all the time and she can go without it so I don't really get engorged it's more of a supply and demand type thing but if I don't nurse at night I definitely will but it's not a lot like it rarely ever happens how bad is the pain now that she has teeth it's not bad at all it doesn't really change anything because it like their gums their tongue goes like above their bottom teeth and they don't really touch you with their top teeth it feels normal honestly but if they bite you that hurts that is very painful it hurts very bad I will cry she's bit me before um, on accident and I cried <laughs> it was really bad when do I plan on stopping this is um, a very very commonly asked question um, I personally I breastfed until I was almost four with my mom and all of my siblings breastfed until at least two or three and um I definitely soon she's definitely getting herself down more every single day and at least by three and a half I plan on stopping I know a while back I said like two and a half or three but every baby is different every baby needs different things and if she ends up needing to breastfeed for longer she can but I don't want to go on for too long why did I continue to breastfeed for so long um <sighs> There's not really a definitive answer for me for this. It just felt really natural. And I started breast... I mean, I exclusively breastfed her until her, she was one. And I just listened to my body and her body. She listened to her body and her body told her she needs her mom's milk. So I... She still feels the need for it. It calms her down and she still nurses at night. And the health benefits are insane. She, um... When you're two, you get sick a lot. Like, one and two, their immune systems are, like, developing, so you get sick a lot. And I even talked to a pediatrician about this. I'm like, why is she getting sick so much? And um, when they're building up their immune systems like that, they get sick a lot. But she ended up not getting sick as often. Like, not getting sick as bad when she got sick. She got sick pretty bad a few times. Um, and those were really unfortunate times, but they were also probably because we traveled a lot 
when she was one and early twos. Recently, she rarely ever gets sick. And when she gets sick, like even if she were to have the flu, it would just be like a mild cold to her. Like we had the flu for a while and she actually did get bad, but she recovered fast. And the immune system benefits, the brain development benefits, they all are just so amazing. And I just really wanted to give her all those benefits, even if it can be inconvenient at times. Does breastfeeding become an inconvenience the older Everly gets? So, it's yes and no. Like, if we're out and she decides she wants to nurse, she'll, like, pull up my shirt or pull down my shirt wherever we are and yell boob. I get the weirdest looks. Like, she'll be like, boob, 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 me want boob, pulling on my shirt. And everyone will just look at me like, boob? What? And it's really embarrassing. But um, when we're at home, it's not an inconvenience unless I'm, like, doing laundry or stuff around the house. But um, when she does get upset and throw fits, um, if she's having a bad day, it's super convenient because I can just nurse her for like 10 minutes, 5, 10 minutes even, and it will calm her down. And it will calm me down. The endorphins are released for the baby or toddler and the mom. So I get positive benefits from that. Like I'll calm down when I'm stressed out after she nurses and she'll calm down when she's upset after she nurses. And it's just really more of a comfort thing when they get older, but it also helps them a lot in the long run, just with neurological and psychological benefits. Some people are saying they don't didn't know that I still breastfed. Um, I actually went through a little scandal. I would post my breastfeeding because normalized breastfeeding, like normalized breastfeeding so hard, like I support that all the way. But I actually ended up having to go to court. That's a whole different story time. Scroll back on my channel to about last year or the year before and you will find out all the dirty details of that, um, not really dirty details, just why I went to court, but, um, I ended up going in front of a judge, and the judge had reviewed my YouTube channel, and he said that my content breastfeeding was not appropriate since I am a minor, and I was actually ruled to only post positive and wholesome things on my channel, that that's what the ruling said, so, <laughs> saying, like, it literally in the ruling it said, you must pull, post wholesome content and that was saying that I can't breastfeed on my channel. Like I was not allowed to breastfeed on my channel or I, I would be in contempt of court. So I haven't really been able to talk about it too much recently just because of that whole, whole long thing. And um, I actually, I went through three lawyers because in Texas it is hard to find a lawyer that's just not going to kiss the judges but because how lawyers get a good rep, they are in a good relationship with the judges like they're friendly to the judges and that's how they get a good rep around here at least and I could not find a lawyer that was willing to fight what the judge said because they thought it wasn't that big of a deal I've actually two two out of three of my lawyers told me that it could be considered child pornography for me to show my breasts while breastfeeding my daughter because I am a minor and I thought that was so ridiculous I wanted to fight it so bad but I, I spent like 50 grand in court and I do not want to go through that again. So my next baby, that's where it goes down. Breastfeeding all day, every day on every platform. Since I'm ruled where I can't post Everly breastfeeding, I will not be a minor with my next child and they will be breastfed. Like I can tell you that right now and I'm going to post that everywhere because I want it to be normalized like I can't do it with Everly because the judge said I can't breastfeed her on any of my social medias I can breastfeed her in public legally but when it goes on social media mm -mm, can't do that it's ridiculous ridiculous I could go on about it all day but just know when I have my second baby which I want to have before I'm 20 um I honestly I'll probably adopt if I can't find anybody to have a baby with me or I'll get a sperm donor because when I move out I want another baby and that's that's just like what I want in my life. I want Everly to have a sibling. I asked her the other day what she wants for Christmas and she said to be a sister. So I'm gonna get that girl a little brother or a little sister. She is going to be a sister before I turn 20. By the time I moved out, after I move out, she will be a sister. I can say that right now and I am not looking for a man to make me a mom again. I am looking for a good sperm donor that can give me another baby or a baby to adopt. I, I don't want another baby from a man. 
It'll be from a man, but not a man I'll be in a relationship with. We don't want that. Mm -mm. <laughs> that is not what I want right now. But it's just, the whole situation was just ridiculous and so unlawful because I could go on and on all day. All day. It's something I'm very passionate about. Like, I've even thought about studying law so I can change the laws on social media. And, like, the law is just for breastfeeding for minors in general because there is teen moms that breastfeed. And I just want to normalize it so bad. Oh my god. It's so annoying. It's so annoying. And the thing that bothers me the most is they say the problem is that I'm a minor and I'm showing my boob. This is my baby's bottle. This is nothing more than a sack of milk. I don't know why people mel freaking sexualize my milk sacks. These are milk sacks. Like, oh, so irritating. So irritating. Like, I'm a mom. This is my child. I'm going to breastfeed her. I don't care if I'm freaking 13 years old. I'm going to breastfeed my child wherever I want. It's irritating. And the fact that people are uncomfortable with it means that it needs to change because it is something people should be comfortable with. Is it real that if you breastfeed for a while, your boobs get small? <laughs> they get saggy too. <laughs> That's all I'm saying on that one. What are my mom's thoughts on me still breastfeeding? Um, seeing as she breastfed all her toddlers as well, um, five kids breastfed all of them until they were like two. Literally over 10 years of her life were spent breastfeeding. I, she commends me for it and she thinks it's awesome that I'm doing it even as a single mom. Everybody saying, does it hurt? At first, yes. Oh my god. Okay, so this is kind of a TMI type thing, but if you have inverted nipples, your baby will pull them out. And it will hurt so bad. You will cry, you will bleed. But the pain only lasts for like two weeks. And I honestly, I know not everybody is willing to push that through that, especially with a newborn. But that was something I was willing to do. Um, I know not everybody's going to want to do that, obviously, but it will hurt. It will. And for some moms, it doesn't hurt, but for new moms especially, like your firstborn, it probably will hurt, but the pain is temporary, the bond is forever, honestly, because the bond it creates is just insane. And there's other way to ways to bond, like if you formula feed, there's other ways to bond, obviously, but for me, just like, I found that breastfeeding was the easiest way to bond, especially with a newborn. And skin to skin. Skin to skin is a huge way to bond. Are there any health benefits to extended breastfeeding? Yes, there is tons. I'm actually gonna, I don't want to quote anything that's not true, so I'm actually gonna look it up and like look at the official stuff. We'll go on Mayo Health Clinic, and this is like an official source, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So it says... Um, the benefits for breastfeeding beyond infancy for a child include balanced nutrition, boosted immunity, um, reduced risk of certain illnesses, and the reason for this is when you breastfeed, your boob, it's so smart, you have a smart boob if you're breastfeeding, or like if you've ever been a mom, you've got smart boobs, I know that's kind of weird, but um, you're, when they're nursing, you, how do I explain this, your nips, they can tell if your baby has a virus or some bacteria in their saliva, saliva and your milk will specially formulate immunities for that bacteria or that virus or literally anything they're struggling with, you will formate, form immunities and pass that on to them. And if you're sick, um, the immunities from whatever you have will pass on to them so they don't get what you have as bad. It's, it's awesome. I ran out of storage. But, um, I just cleared some storage up on my card. Ah. But there's just tons of benefits, and, um, I used Mayo Clinic for my source, so if you want to, like, go look on Mayo Clinic to fact check me, you can. And if their facts are wrong, you can also tell me, like, I'm open to constructive criticism and criticism. But yeah, I just, there's so many benefits, and I, I love it. Do I breastfeed on demand or only at certain times? Okay, depends on the day. Like, if I'm out grocery shopping, running errands all day, which I haven't been in a while because I've been staying home since the cases have started to surge. Um, I literally have gone out once this week, once, and it was to Target. <laughs> but usually on demand when we're at home. Like, if she decides she wants to nurse, I'll let her nurse for a few minutes, but I'm starting to kind of like get like, ugh, like this is so exhausting with the breastfeeding. Like it's starting to affect me more, so I want to stop soon. 
but um usually on demand like if she wants to nurse I'll let her nurse but I'll I'll like shorten the times she'll nurse for but um we always breastfeed at night like that's the only way she'll fall asleep she never falls asleep with me without nursing she's probably fallen asleep with me once without nursing and she's been alive for almost three years so it's insane does Everly bite yeah sometimes I have to put a muzzle on her <laughs> no I'm kidding yeah I just thought the way that was worded was really funny does Everly bite yes don't pet her don't pick her up she will bite you <laughs> no I know what it means but like I thought that was worded funny but yeah she's bit me before it hurts somebody said I didn't know women produ produced milk for that long a lot of people don't like the the body of a woman is just so amazing. It does so many things. Like, the fact that you can carry a baby in your stomach, birth it, and provide for it as long as it needs to out of your fat sacks on your chest, it's amazing. It's elite. I love it. A lot of people are saying, how? Like, I could never. But every baby's different. Some babies are more drawn to formula, and some moms have a harder time breastfeeding. Like, everyone's baby and everyone's body is different. So, I mean, whatever makes you and your baby happy, that's that's what matters. Like, that's all that matters. Like, all I'm trying to do here is normalize the extended breastfeeding. But formula moms, you go. Like, if you breastfed your baby for two weeks and somebody said they breastfed their baby for a week or two and her baby said, nope, give me formula. And that's perfectly fine. Like, if that's what's best for you and your baby, that's fine. Has Everly showed any signs of wanting to stop? No. She is addicted to boob. And it can be really hard. It definitely can be really hard and draining, but I mean, when you're a mom, like you're literally, I, I watched a quote. No, I've watched, I've been watching Bates Motel and there was like a quote in there that said, being a mom is like that story of the little boy that goes to a tree and takes branches from it because the branches are magical or something. I don't remember the exact thing. And the tree gives and gives and gives until it's just a stump. And when that tree is a stump, the little boy goes and sits on the stump. <laughs> and I thought that really related to being a mom. Like, as a mom, you, you're just always giving. And you, you'll literally, like, give your child everything before you give yourself anything. And I never thought I would do anything like that until I became a mom. So it's, it's crazy. Somebody said, why do you have a full-grown talking and walking child sucking on your boob? <laughs> See, this is exactly why I'm trying to normalize it. People are weird. Oh, did I introduce normal milk? Yes, she has like four glasses of milk a day. And whenever I don't want to nurse, I'll give her a glass of milk or some water just to keep up with her hydration and so she still gets milk. I don't drink milk. Um, I'm lactose intolerant and milk just kind of grosses me out now that I've started breastfeeding and I produce milk. I'm just kind of like gross. But yes, I really drinks milk still. Um, and water and juice. She she loves drinking stuff. <laughs> like she's less picky with what she drinks than what she eats, if that makes any sense. But yeah, um, that's gonna wrap up this video. I hope y'all enjoyed and I, I love talking about breastfeeding and normalizing it. It just makes me so happy. Oh <laughs> why am I so emotional? I need to eat. <laughs> um It took a long time to put on these lashes, they're not coming off now. <laughs> Um, I hope y'all enjoyed this video, and breastfeeding mamas, you're doing great. Formula feeding mamas, you are doing great. You are all doing amazing. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed, and I just love being able to share this on my platform. I, I, it's great. I love it. And I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Um, make sure you tune into my channel for the next video. I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I've recently been a little bit off schedule, but I'm getting back there, and... I'm getting better. I went through a rough time recently and I'm about to start kind of quarantining again, just going out way less because the cases are surging. There's only 33 ICU beds left in my entire county and it is very highly populated. So it's just really scary, especially having a high-risk family member. My, um, my papa has coronavirus right now and a lot of people in my family have coronavirus right now and it's terrifying and I just pray for everybody with it and everybody exposed to it and everybody struggling with anxiety from it. Oh my, everything will get better. You are loved, I promise. But I hope y'all had an amazing day. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. My outros are so long lately. Bye guys, subscribe. Is that what I should do instead of just rambling? It's like subscribe to my channel right now. Like this video 
or I'm not gonna make any more content. Bye! No. Um, I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe if you want to. That would be really nice of you. <laughs> um, bye guys.